stop and rewind, get back on time so you get the whole story. So back in July, I submitted my videos to OutsideTVCampfire.com. It's an awesome action sport TV channel. Every week and every month you have a chance to win some prizes by submitting your own action sport videos. And the prize for the best video in July is the Mongoose Booter Greg Watts replica. So I decided to take a shot, but I never thought I'm gonna make it. Just got the best video of July on Outside TV Campfire. I just won a downing bike, a mongoose booter, Greg Watts replica. What's this? Whoa! Well, this is the bike, the mongoose booter, Greg Watts edition, with full Saint drive terrain. And well, I gotta take that out and do a bike check. But thank you, Outside TV, Campfire, for choosing my videos, the video of the month, and giving me this. Thank you so much. Can't be more stoked than that. This is sick. Let's take this in, build it up, do a bike check, and then take it for a shred. The bike was well packed, so it took a little bit of time to unpack the bike, but the build was really simple, it's just the front wheel, the handlebar and the pedals. Listen to that hum. All right, the thing that I'm really stoked about this bike is the components. Let's start with the drive terrain, which is Saint. Uh, it's the derailleur and the cranks and the chain ring. Brakes, Saint as well, front and rear, 200 millimeters rotors and these pedals, I'm really stoked about these pedals. This is the T-Mac Telemacol signature pedal by DD Components. And as far as the wheels, this is the first downhill bike that I know that has a plus tires. These wheels are basically wide rims, it looks like 36 mil. And this is 2.6 DHF Minion front and rear. The hubs are exposure, which I never heard about, but they feel it sounds good and it's laced on WTB rims. Handlebar are DD components as well, black label, 800mm wide, 38mm rise. On the rear we have a RockShox Super Deluxe 200mm travel. It came with a nice seat post and seat by DD components, but I needed to cut the seat post and I didn't have the right tool for it, so I had to swap it up with the old seat post. The grips are Sensus Light, pretty comfortable grips. It's not my favorite, but I'm gonna stick with them. And the part that I'm least excited about, which is the fork. The fork is RST Killer, a basically a beginner fork. So I don't have a lot of expectation for this fork. From the little bit of down and down, down this bike, the fork is super plush. Good. 
even though the fork is a beginner fork and the rear shock also it's kind of like a beginner super plush but the brakes saint what else can you say about saint they're great always been great so thank you shimano thank you outside tv all right let's mess to the bottom Super stoked. Thank you, Outside TV, Campfire. Thank you, Mongoose. Thank you, Shimano. Thank you, Didi. What else can I say? Sick. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Any questions, any suggestions for future episodes. What you like, what you don't like. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider to subscribe. If you're really into downing mountain biking and whatever is related to that. Until the next session, stay cool, be fast, no injuries, peace out. <laughs>